Hello and welcome to this review of Doodle Maker in 2023. A few years ago I did a review of Doodle Maker and I didn't like it because it would have issues with saving projects and then you would lose all your work and I sort of gave up on Doodle Maker but I've come back to it in 2023 to see if much has changed and how good it is and how useful it is in 2023. So Doodle Maker will cost you $69 but if you put in the code of Doodle it gives you $20 off so it's effectively $49 and it gives you access to 1080p outputs. So I've logged into Doodle Maker and I'm going to create a project. Now you've got templates that you can use. You can start from scratch or you can use this AI video translation engine. Let's start from scratch. This has text to speech built in and some people might love text to speech and some people might not like it. If you have your own voiceover file, you can just click here or if you don't want to use a script but i'm going to use the tts today and i'm going to make a trailer video for my channel so i've typed that out i'm going to put it all on one slide we can select a soundtrack i don't know what these are like i'm going to go for inspire i could preview it shall i preview it yeah that's fantastic i'm um, english language i could put it into another language i'm not going to here we've got our screen options we can have a white board a black board a glass board we can add a custom color or we can put our own custom image here icons can be black colored or mixed and we've got our hand style i don't like this hand i'm going to pick this hand not that there's much in it don't forget to subscribe and now i'm going to click save so that's going to create my project and it's auto filled things unfortunately and i don't like any of these things so if i were just to preview it and see what we've got let's have a look at this hello i'm big g video and i make youtube videos about making videos my channel covers yeah i don't like that so first of all i want to change the voice i want english uk but probably a male so i'm going to go with harry let's see what this sounds like hello i'm big g video i love that already um i can upload my voice and i can record my voice so i could record my own voice over here i'm not going to do that yet but i have the option so i want to get rid of these these are no good to me so i need to go through and delete all these elements unfortunately there's no way to do it in bulk unfortunately so i'm going to want to add some text there we go big g video channel so now that's added and i can resize that and i want it to be really really big and we need to think about how it adds in so any text has a hand drawing transition which is exactly what we want two seconds probably seems a bit long so i'm going to go for a second and now we want to add more things so i click off here and i'm going to add some more things from the library so in the library i've got various connections i can make i can look in i, I can search across icons icon finder assets pixabay photo bin and jump story and i can also upload my own image so i'm going to do that so i've uploaded my logo and i'm just making it smaller now here we've got the order of things being written in so i would actually want this one to be written in first so i need to unlock this yes unlock the timeline and then i can move things around so this is going to be first and i'm going to want this down here so i'm going to change this to reveal because we can have sliders and other things and i'm going to default seems to be one second i can't do anything more than that so let's look at my script again and i want a youtube thing can i find youtube let's have a look i've got a youtube asset here maybe we'll go to pixabay and look, look for some photos about a youtuber here we go so i can click on this button let's see what this does and that's going to convert it into sort of something more imagey i'm going to use that that looks quite good and i'm going to bring that down here and i want to make it a little bit smaller there we go and i'm going to want to look for podcast as well i'm going to go to pixabay and look for podcast i want to go for this one and i want to change it over and i'm going to go for this one so i just need to resize these get them in so they're roughly the same size and they align now we don't have any aligning tools which i think is quite annoying there's no aligning tools here but not much we can do and if i just look at the order it's going to go from left to right i want to move that up there like so it's going to go from left to right and I, I want them drawn in because that's the whole point of it i want a hand drawing hand painting hand painting and then i'm going to go to my next slide 
Now, one of the gripes I had was you couldn't move the slides around, but now you can. You can reorder them if you want. That's really good. So I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need that. And I'm going to put this down here. And I'm going to want like um, a computer, really. Yep, so there's that one here. And I'm going to want this really, really big. That looks fairly horrible, doesn't it? So I'm going to go for this because it's thinner. So I'm going to get rid of this one. So I want this in the middle. I want this to go to the front. That doesn't seem to be going backwards, unfortunately. There we are. So I'll put those together. And again, I'm because it's a doodly style thing, I'm going to want things to draw themselves in. I don't want them fading in. I want them drawing in. So now we've made that, let's go and see what it's like. So I'm going to click on render. So first I want to save it. And now I'm going to click on render. So I can pick 720 or 1080. I'm going to go for 1080 and we'll come back when it's rendered. Hello, I'm Big G Video and I make YouTube videos about making videos. My channel covers software reviews for video creation, reviews of filming gear and tutorials. I've also got a podcast here on YouTube that is a longer form discussion about all things video making. Check out some of my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. So that was the video and can't do any camera effects, but that was OK. I was quite happy with it. Clearly, I forgot to change the voice on the second slide, which which, which is an error I made. So yeah, it's it's OK, but let's look at the templates. So we looked at whiteboard and if we look at glass board, the idea is it's a piece of glass and someone's writing from the other side. So let's just pick one of these templates and see what it's like. So everything's done for you. Let's have a preview of this. Now I'm for oh, and it's um, crashed. So it it wasn't doing the preview. The window got stuck and Chrome asked me if I wanted to quit and then it just disappeared. So these were the type of things that annoyed me before. But imagine spending 40 minutes making a project here and then the file corrupted and you couldn't get your project back and you lost everything. That's what I found last time. So it looks like we can't preview it, but I'm going to just render it so we can see what it's like. I'm going to go for full 1080 again. If you're looking for a reliable, professional, and affordable airport transportation service, well, you've come to the right place. We're proud to be the top local provider of airport transportation services, and we're committed to creating satisfied customers and getting you to and from the airport on time, every time. And the other thing we can do is we can create a project from a YouTube video. So I'm going to go and grab one of my YouTube videos. So I've taken my podcast introduction episode. And I could, I guess, upload that voice file as well. And I'm going to get the YouTube video and then I'm going to save it. I'm going to do Glassboard this time just to be different. So it's taken the transcription and it's put it on slides. And thankfully, I've not run out of slides. I think 20 slides is the maximum you can do. So I'm going to set this to glass. I'm not going to have any soundtrack. It's going to be English. So let's click save and see what happens. So on our slide one, we've got we do have some assets put in. It's put in some assets for us, much like it did before when I typed my script in. So all it's done really that's different is it's retrieved the transcription from YouTube and then just put it through its routine of putting things on that are loosely related to what, what it said. So one of the problems I have is for this one, it it's they're all fade in. They seem to default to fade in. And the whole point of having this is things are drawn in. We've got five slides and I think we've got, well, we've got nothing on slide five, interestingly. Um, but we've got six items on each slide which is going to be 24 items. and I'd have to go through and change each one to draw in because as I see it, that's the point of it. That's a bit of a hassle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to render this and we're going to see how it looks. 
Hello and welcome to the introduction episode to the Big G video podcast. It's an introduction. It's going to be very short. I'm going to outline why I'm doing it, what I'm doing and what you can expect in the future. So I'm Big G video. I make YouTube videos. I've made around 600 YouTube videos and they're mainly around making videos for YouTube and I focus on software, AI avatars, making headless videos, gear reviews and tutorials all around filming predominantly for YouTube. Now I've done podcasts before I had a photography podcast which has around 200 episodes.